All right, everyone. This is Rob Silva here. It is nice to be back. Um, today we're gonna go over um, the Oculus Developer Hub. I'm gonna show to you a little bit where to download, um, and that you have to install it. And also, you have to. Um, I will show how to um, explain a little bit about the interface of the software. Cool. The software will help you to. Um, install your uh, the applications that will be creating in Unity and it will help you to install in your uh, VR headset. This application is um, uh, created for uh, to to work together with Oculus Quest and all the um, Meta um, headsets. Cool. All right. So first thing that you need to do is go to developeroculus.com. Um, you can scroll down and you will see a, um, a download link. Uh, let me see. Right here, download MetaQuest Developer Hub. You can click in download. And uh, you're going to find uh, core packages. You're going to find... A lot of links here for you to download Oculus Mobile SDK um, supporting packages. You're gonna scroll down, and here there is um, a Oculus Developer Hub for Windows and a version for Mac. Um, so I already have this software installed on my computer. I don't need to install again. But here, where you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Um, if you don't have it yet in your computer, um, the software supports an Unreal Engine, Quest, Unity, um, and, and uh, uh, it is an Oculus Developer Hub, right? So um, you just download it and install. Um, cool. Uh, make sure that you um, you have a Facebook account or you can create a Meta account um, or I think you have an option to log in with an Instagram account too. Okay, install on your computer, go step by step, and um, and just stay put because I will explain a little bit of the interface of the software. All right, um, just during the installation, just make sure that you are um, that you have the passwords if. You know your Facebook passwords. If it's asking for you to um, create a an account, any specific account with Meta, just do it. Uh, make sure that really, really save that email, save the password because um, the the same account that you're logging logging in on um, in in this application in this software, you will also need to log in. With your headset, this is like is non-negotiable. Uh, it needs to be the same account in order to work. Um, so take note of that. Okay, if you created a Meta account, or if you log in with your Facebook account, because I, I think that has an option also to log in with Instagram account. But so keep notice of that. Okay, whatever account you register for for you to access the um, uh, the Developer Hub, the Meta Developer Hub, you need to do that with your headset as well. All right, so just a little bit of the interface. Here you have settings, just let's go through the settings. Uh, as you can see, this is my account, this is my personal email, and uh, I'm already logged in. My headset is not connected to uh, the, 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 uh, to the hub right now, um, but you, um, uh, so I'm logged in already. There's an account settings. Um, there is a, there is a, a tab here for some news um, that you just can can take advantage of that. There is a download here, so there's a lot of application inside of this hub. Uh, so there's some tools. Um, just just read one here. If you know, uh, let's see here. So it contains required files to modify the Android SDK tools. Uh, size trace in order to provide low level GPU pipeline that 
data for apps running on quite I mean so there's a lot of a lot of resources um, in downloads here that you can um, install in a hub that, that will help whatever other type of development that, that you are doing this is a metrics SDK so um, so there's a lot of things that you can um, take advantage of it you just need to take some time to um, to read it um, okay I usually don't um, I don't style anything here in a hub. Um, I really, really use to install what I create in Unity, um, but um, you can um, you can take advantage. Okay, uh, educate yourself a little bit from from this. Um, all right, cool. Let's see. So there's some apps here for distributions. I already have one here. This Watchtower. Um, top uh, application that I created um, and uh, this app distribution here I haven't distributed this uh, th this specific tab here is for um, if you want to um, have your application into the Android store or the meta store slash the meta store too um, I started that process and I stopped it but um, here that's a place that you would you, you would go you add your application here go to the meta website there's a pro entire proposal that you have to um, to write down to submit an application and hopefully get approved if you really really want to do that so there's a lot of a uh, very little bit strict guideline to follow to have your application there um, uh, file manager um, so here is the um, is the place where um, I usually you see there's connected this device to view file so my device is not connected um, so usually you'll be able to see um, your headset here uh, let's see if I can get my headset real quick for this um, did not plan to have the headset because I just wanted to have the interface uh, of the software shown to you but I can I think that I can do that very quick. Let me see. Um, uh, let's see if there's charged. Um, and um, so, yeah, I'm connecting my headset here. So bear that with me. Um, so if there is a... If there is device connected, it's gonna pop in right there. And you can see there's no file found right there. So there's two files here inside of my headset. Uh, let me just go to the first stop. So you can see now active, that's my device right now. Um, I just turn in my device. So it's connected. Um, this is the application that's in a, in, uh, inside of it, the headset, I can cast, um, I can, uh, let's see if I can click in cast here, you're going to be able to see, um, my, let me put my headset on my, on my head, you, you're going to be able to see it connected right there, so I can cast, what I'm looking at, a headset, um, I can record what I'm looking at, a headset, I can take uh, a screenshots. Um, so I mean, there's a, a tons of uh, options here that you can play. Um, you know, there's, there's, I mean, there's a lot of things here that you can just navigate through it. Um, performance analyzer um, is going to show a little bit how you know when whatever you are doing, whatever you are. Uh, um, you know, if you're recording or if you're recording is going to show, you know, CPU, frequency levels, I mean, everything in detail here for you to, um, to analyze whatever type of deep analysis you want to do uh, with your um, software, you can do here. I did not update it my yet. That's the latest version here. Um, I mean, it's working fine. I will not 
updates, there is no problems at all. Um, sometimes it's like, okay, you update the, the hub, you also have to update the software in a headset too. So that ongoing um, uh, cycle of updates, uh, you know, have to deal with that. So everything is working fine for me, so no need to update. If anything crashes and stop function, I will just update it. Um, so that's a little bit. For you to add the app, the application from, from Unity, you just drag and drop right here in the center. So let me just, let me just get a, 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 uh, a file here, any type of file to show to you what happened when you, uh, when you have a, um, an application and um, you want to add to it. Just give me a second here. All right. So this is what happened when you want to install a um, an application. It's just like you get an APK file and you can drop it anywhere. And even if you are like in settings, download, you just grab that file that whatever you have, whatever look, whatever location it is, it's like literally drag and drop. And then you can um, let's get a file here. Let's put this. Uh, put a decent file. This is twenty twenty one right here. So when you do that, this is what's pop popped up. Uh, so you can see here Oculus Two Quest, drag and drop here to install. Override is going to explain everything. We automatically override any APK that uses the same app ID installed already. So and this app the Apple the application ID is that one that you set up in Unity. If it's the same, it would just um, replace it, whatever is here. So ideally you always want to, you know, if you don't want to replace it, just rename it, the file, uh, the application ID in Unity with a different name and save it. So, um, you know, you always can compare two files, different, diff, you know, compare two files rather than um, de dealing with um, replacing. Okay, so that's kind of pretty much, that's pretty simple. Um, okay, so that's that's kind of pretty much. Um, so it's like drag and drop. When you have this active, when your headset shows here, when you're logged in, is ready to drag and drop uh, the file that you create in Unity. And that's all for, for this video. Cool? Uh, please subscribe the video, uh, stay updated. Uh, and stay posted of the newer videos that I'm going to be posting uh, in Unity and Cinema 4D. Cool? All right. Have a good one.